whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have the Ochentoschen 3 wood here on my cask. It's 43% ABV and it's 41 euros and 90 cents at whiskey.com here in Central Europe. Ochentoschen is a lowland distillery in Scotland and the specialty of Ochentoschen is that they distill their malts Price. So it's a triple distillation, and you have a wash still, an intermediate still, and a spirit still. And the spirit still uh, fortifies the ABV up to 80%. So it's uh, extreme distillation, and the spirit coming out of those stills is very smooth, it's very uh, gentle, very clean. And then Argentoschen puts this whiskey, this raw whiskey, into uh, sequentially into three different casks. First is ex bourbon casks, first fill and refill. The second one is a uh, finishing period, a longer finishing period for two years in Oloroso sherry casks. Those sherries are very fruity and not sweet. And then there is a final finishing period for six months, it says. Uh, in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks, and those are very sweet sherries, fully oxidized, but uh, they stopped the fermentation with the residual sugar in the sherry, and then they fortified it with brandy up to the 20% uh, ABV which these sherries have. And this intense sherry, fruity, sweet sherry of the Pedro Jimenez uh, goes into the porous walls, the porous staves of the cask and is later then uh, extracted by the Ochentoschen whiskey. So in this case we have a, a single malt which is very clean from the distillery character but very hefty from the cask, ca cask's characters. So typically or very often you have an intense uh, distillery character and a moderate cast character and in this we have a smooth gentle uh, raw whiskey and then extremely casks for the maturation or during the phase of maturation. I tasted that whiskey, uh, I looked it up 12 years ago and uh, six years ago and so uh, it's time to have another try with this one and during that time uh, the bottle shape changed but six years ago it was the same bottle shape but uh, the card box has changed now it's a lot more modern and uh, yeah it's 43 percent and maturation bourbon oloroso and pig sherry cars everything written on the label rich and elegant yeah and there are only very few sherry cask, very few distilleries left in Scotland uh, which are distilling with uh, triple distillation. So very, very few. Most of them moved to or kept their double distillation. It was very famous in the lowlands to have this triple distillation but uh, now there are more distilleries in the highlands which distilled uh, with three stills than in the lowlands. I think Ochentoschen is one of two or three in the lowlands uh, which uh, distill, have a double distillation. Yeah, first impression is, yeah, <laughs> very complex. What's the first? First I had oranges in my nose and dark fruits, those typical sherry fruits and uh, beginning oakiness in the later nose. Very, very complex. Little sweetness in the nose. Yeah. Very intense, very shaden, a sherry laden. Extremely. Yeah. Cheers. Mm -hmm.
oily, juicy, sweet syrup, and then oakiness is kicking in. So these maturation for two years in Oloroso sherry casks, of course, also refill Oloroso sherry casks, gives a, a definite oakiness in that whiskey. Really, and a long aftertaste, warm, gentle oakiness, and nuttiness. Hazelnuts, probably, and this is very, very typical for sherry casks. If you have an empty sherry cask just uh, drained, uh, and uh, you take off the bung and, and smell on that cask, this is extremely uh, nuttiness coming through. Walnut, hazelnut, pecan nuts. So this is extreme sherry character. This is very, very often hidden with these uh, dark dried fruit character like dates, figs, plums, raisins. And in the aftertaste, a little, a hint of chocolate, not chocolate, of course. Yeah, very, very well done. A lot of whiskies need a long time for getting rid of those unwanted feints or <clears throat> yeah, compounds resulting or left over by the distillation. But if you triple distill, then those, all those feints and unwanted substances are gone. And then uh, the whiskey will immediately take up uh, the taste of the cask. And so you're able to have a shorter maturation period going with three different casts. The maturation period will be even shorter and you will not have this youthness in a whiskey because the distillation had been that fine. Yeah. Very intense, very, very much sherry, very complex long after taste. Oranges, more oranges now, and moving over to very ripe oranges with a hint of sweetness. Yeah, wow. So very well done for a whiskey without an age statement on it, but I suggest it's somewhere between six, seven, and 10 years, and then the, uh, the after, but, uh, the, the second maturation, yeah, the two years in Oloroso cast will add on that and six months for the finishing in Pedro Jimenez Sherry will add that again. So it's quite a complicated or intense maturation in the casks and this leads to this voluminous whiskey. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.